There's a day two update still going up. So right now I'm the LED is the kickback, and that's the input battery. The charge on it going up instead of down. It's been doing this for the last two days now. And the same setup. The cell has the R bias acting with negative resistance. I'm just pretty drifty. I'm just using this as an indicator. I can literally tune into it. 507, 508. There we go. Very quiet now, and it'll, it's a little drifty, but it's pretty strong peaks. You see that? One point five oh nine batteries over here. That's it. The same setup. See if I can find the frequency here. It's a little more stable for now. Tends to drift all over the place. One five one two now. Running the LED in, via the inductive kickback and recycling it back into the front bus here. So, this is what's been going on. I've been experimenting with this like for two days now. Make sure it's not an anomaly. And sure enough, it's the same pattern every time. Without having to dump or do anything, the input battery just increases. That's all it is. And the piezo here, coming back to the input. There's the input rail here. The oscillator over here. This is acting as a bias R. But because it's got a potential of its own, it does a crazy thing where, as I showed in from previous cells, when it gets in a series, it gets reverse bias, and then when it gets blocked, it acts as a potential. So, in other words, it's like for a moment it feeds back, and for another, it passively allows for the feedback. So, during a moment, in other words, it seems to um, make up for the loss you get in the bias, and you can actually get the f feedback and the gain effect accumulatively. It's a lot going on, I understand. I'm trying to find the frequency here. It plays around a lot. Free running. For a moment, 590. You see now, 1.52 already. It's pretty quick, you know. So this is injecting energy into the system, and of course this cell on its own can't run all of this and charge the battery. That's not rechargeable, by the way. So, like I said, it has to do with getting reverse bias at the right time, and then when the transistor is off, it, it, it essentially bleeds back into the input. Something like that. I even changed the batteries on my meter to make sure. And I have another one here that I've been testing. Because like I said, it's been persisting with the same pattern now. Or just this. So I got this clip there just because I need to keep it tight, you know, just like that with the tape. It was a little iffy, but... The clip corrected that right away. Oh, we're back in the frequency again. Oh, 
They're going up 1.522. So I just wanted to show you the pattern as I talk here. It's pretty interesting. I'm messing around with this for a couple days now. Various configurations, and this one seems to be the, the one that's promising, anyways. So, again, here, torsion stop coil eliminates most of the electric field. There's the flyback oscillator running and free running. I had a bias resistor there. I took that off and now it's using the cell. And it seems to be working well. This is just the LED switch. The inductive kickback, the Bedini style runs this and then it feeds it over here. This gives me back a sine wave-ish, which I half rectified back into the front bus. Along with the piezo barium titanate plate here, all back into the front with the 1.5. And this is what we're getting. All of these systems all together working unique, but in harmony. <laughs> you can hear it kicking in again. And on a side note, another one of my cells that's been running for like almost two months now, the clock just runs it. So 1.523, as I talk, charge is going up. So the key is using a, a bias resistor, but as a negative resistor to get the same effect. But you need a special device there. Oh, I think I saw it there, yeah, 1.524. You see as we're talking, like... So I just want to stay long enough to show that it's not just, you know, oh, just a moment. It's persisting and persistent. I just like finding the frequency, the noise, the noise. Oh, 1.524. Where are you? Oh, there it is. 560. But it's all over the place as a free running, no basic control, right? It just goes where it wants to go. One point five two four. I'll bring this down a bit. Sure, you get the idea now. I like using it as an indicator. There it comes back again. So holding nice at 1.524 now. So I've just been documenting this as I go here. Don't mind the mess. Oh, I saw it there, 1.525. <laughs> See, this is what it does. Like, it did this yesterday all freaking night. I was up at like 3 in the morning and I said, that's it, taking a break, trying this again tomorrow. Very, very promising anyways. Love seeing that LED running too. 
and hearing that oscillator through the radio and seeing that battery charging, which is great because like no cap dumps, no mechanism, no, no weird trying to loop it or nothing like that. Just having this part here, it takes care. It does it on its own. It comes right back to the front when it needs it. The cell reverse biases when it has to from the feedback. It acts passive, gives it the right resistance, and then injects the loss. As it seems to be happening here. You really hear it whistling and speeding up. Speeding up usually means more charges coming in. Yeah. You <laughs> see that? It's, it's speeding up as it's charging up. In such a basic... You can hear it. That's funny. But that's what it is, folks. So 11 minutes now. And it's going up. So I'm going to let you go for now. Just keeping you up to date. I'm going to try and stitch all these videos together. Maybe I could just keep this one. Because I've explained it pretty well from start to finish. I removed the bias resistor here and I'm using the cell, which has its own potential. And then this thing is speeding up. You really hear it. Crazy, huh? They're probably going to have 1.527 maybe. My goodness. Yeah, so I could be here for a while, so I'm going to have to eventually, um, I keep saying I'm going to wrap it up 12 minutes now. But there it is, 12.27, I just saw it, see that? So anyways, I'm going to stop this now. Put this out of the way, in case someone says, oh, the radio's putting a field. <laughs> Somebody actually accused me of that, it's DLO. Yeah, it's way over there, so, and it's off. So here we are, flickering at 1.5. This is actually going to uh, overdrive the battery very soon because it's a 1.5. It's a little bit over now, believe it or not. Which I'm enjoying a lot because this was a dead, well, on, on its way, like 0.6, you know. Then I had this idea that started going up. So yeah, here we are, 13 minutes and still charging up. So at this point, I think it's not some weird effect or a misconfiguration of equipment or anything like that. It's pretty basic. My meter is right here in the input buttons where I've got the battery connecting on here, plus minus, feeding the oscillator, everything comes back through here.